later, I'm playing Dying Light 2 side quest. Here we go. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Guns down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. <laughs> history is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Mm. History lesson, that was it. I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Of this side quest. Right, okay, so that's what we're doing. Why are you Hello? just standing there? I don't know. I'm trying to get through this gap. Right, so this is the history lesson side quest, Dying Light 2. Oh, you know, big jump. Whoa. I'm surprised we made it. Let's turn that light off. Don't need that one, do we? No. Not during our day anyway. Oh, wait, no. I've gone. No. I've gone too far there for a minute. Right, okay. Oh, this is a bit of a jump, isn't it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna die? Here we go. Blimey, I'm surprised I made that. That was a bit of a jump, wasn't it? Right. Let's carry on. Try and stick to the rooftops for a change. Yes, he says. Now we'll go on the floor. Ground level. Er, oh, no. Can't see where I'm going very well. Turn that one off. Turn that one on a little bit. It's going to trap the zombies though, isn't it? Oh, hey, hang on. I'm at the monument. You were right. How much left of it? Good. More closely. Yeah. There is much more to it than meets the eye. I stop getting attacked by the zombies for a sec. Is he talking about this one? What are you talking about? Where, oh where, oh where? Oh, investi investigate the square. I thought you were talking about this monument here. Need to go looking around. Right, okay. I'll, uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's one of these, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Oh, Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. No. Right, okay, so it's... Still got to investigate the square. Okay, what have I got to look at? here that is where the riots started people were terrified how could they protect themselves and their families there was massive unrest so a curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding 
hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Hmm. Right, I'll carry on investigating. Away and walk back. Hmm. Generator. A bit around the floor. Who knows that? I've got to investigate then. Around here. No. Taking it. Investigate this section. Oh, what else? Uh, oh no, somebody in there. No. no.
Hmm. There's something around, it's around on that bench. Why is it telling me to go over there? Am I meant to be going over there? So what I'm meant to be doing? See that dummy? Uh, about this tree. An investigation. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out, and of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Like. The candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Mm. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated Oh, there we go. History lesson complete. It's a pretty good side quest, isn't it? If you like this video, please do consider subscribing, and perhaps I'll see you in the next one.